So I've been watching uh, some person that I'm a super big fan of. Uh, call me baby. Anyway, um, Kiza, and uh, I was watching uh, one of her music videos because uh, she uh, has been making stuff since 2014. Uh, songs and music videos that I've been watching on YouTube. And uh, she's a fiery ginger that sort of, uh, in the music video, is dancing around in different colors that are splitting out from sort of lithium lightning that's hitting her. So what I thought of was the idea that she would be a character in the MCU because I would like to stare at her in a skin-tight outfit. <laughs> that, uh, you know, like, is from the future and... Uh, because she's a different like energy pattern of uh, caused by everybody's like you know the, the the future is for where she's from in the the multiverse of madness one of the cleanest so it's like everybody's super healthy and their immune system is really strong and so then she's like the energy of the different colors and frequencies of their different immune system attributes and she has to go back in time to reconnect to the negative charge colors. Like, you know, how, like you invert orange and you get like a spooky, like blue ghostly orange. Like she goes back in time to find all the different versions of herself as shadow images and recombine them to herself. But meanwhile, she can still split out colors every time she's hit. Because this gets into the concept that the entire Marvel Universe has this issue with everybody screaming their power level is greater. As an actor, not caring that they sound like a two-year-old and oblivious to the logic of what they're saying. So, the way comic books work, because I always have to, you know, chastise everybody and say that they're a fucking faggot. Is also, oh, by the way, I haven't mentioned this in a while, fuck you, pay me. Anyways, um... Why I have to chastise you fuck so much is because you just do the same thing every time. Yeah, but uh, I had a lot of digital artists, uh, you know, make me do digital things all over the place. So now I'm an important big boy. Everything is an energy pattern, and this is just a fact of the universe itself already. So it doesn't matter what you say. An idiot would say that anyways, wouldn't they? You're nothing but a tanning bed, a conglomerate of energy, and some muscle mass and water and penis juice. Yet you'll claim that somehow you're infinity man because you have one color of energy you can pump out of your anus into a movie CG. So I'm sick of that shit. And this point is here is to be diverse enough, right, that you have different patterns of energy. So Kiza, for being hot and making my dick hard and being an actual dancer gets to be more powerful than you guys while well, being an average level of superhuman say you know whatever it is five six eight times more like strong than a regular person ten times more durable or something so she's superhuman but her only ability is to split into more people so she's not that interesting every time a new energy pattern like a laser beam hits her she does it out of her orange colors because it's really easy to do that with her hair color to you know like have a reference for all the colors of orange. Um, it's just a great role. Uh, it's super positive. She gets to dance around and uh, use energy to defeat people like, uh, you know, really silly ways. And I get to watch it. And you people get to understand why one source of energy is not powerful. So her character of Kiza's when the MCU would be where she's in the future so far, you know, potentially that she's they're trying to become even cleaner and that would be cleaning up the past because they're still genetically attached to the past so then the laser experiment on her sends her to the past because it scatters her frequencies of her living body into the color frequencies of the broken past of the mcu and that's just a quick description yes and what i'll attach to this video is her section where she's encountered first in the multiverse of madness where it's got more orangish hues that you'd see from like fantastic beast poster uh i just took it from a uh one of the virtual backgrounds online on youtube but it, it's just a good reference to the color scheme not exactly the formation of stupid like patterns of light or anything don't reference that just the overall gas scheme all right so the 
the power stones are like a source of such pure color energy that they can attach to all the energy across different parts of the universe automatically and draw that power through because the universe is so broken and ghostly, right? So, Kiza in the future, because um, some people's genetics get out from that broken uh, past into the future where it's more of a utopia supposedly, but they're still suffering. So, she agrees because she's, you know, some woman who super bathed her in the laser glow of all of those colors, you know, and split out. And it's so intense, you know, the chamber that, that she's in that it sends her to the past. Because she it's supposed to cleanse all of her genetics, and then she's torn apart back into the past to where her genetics are still dirty. And uh, that's, yeah, then she can clean things up. That's what I was thinking about. Alright, so Keys' plot here is that she's like the sexy mission provider and Power Ranger suit upgrader, you know? And so she's actually, they're her ancestors, like she's in the future, she's the daughter of the Power Rangers, like all of their genetics will eventually go on, they'll marry people and stuff and lead to her. So then she's coming back and assisting them.